Jamal St. Cyr now joins us. Uh, we are there at Atlantic Coast tonight. I thought it was interesting, first time we've had a game of the week that's a 6 o'clock start this year. Had a little different feel to it. Hey, it did have a little bit of a different feel. Tonight, I kind of looked at the talent that was on the football field. There are a lot of different talented players across the area, but our game of the week sported what we were hoping to see two of the most talented wide receivers in the area on the field. We only got to see one tonight, but that doesn't change the fact that both of these guys can really catch the football. Tonight's game of the week between Atlantic Coast and Creekside had a lot of talent out on the football field, specifically two of the best wide receivers in our area, Atlantic Coast with Patrick Bryant the second and Creekside with Jack Goodrich. When you talk about Atlantic Coast Patrick Bryant, the first word that comes to coaches' minds is special. He's special. Um, every single program that they have played this season has had a plan for him, and he still has made plays. Uh, he's extremely violent with his hands as a receiver. Like, pressing him and being physical doesn't bother him. Playing off coverage doesn't bother him. Uh, he's as good of a receiver as I've seen, and, and that's an attribute to how they're coaching him and how hard that kid works. He's, he's really, really talented. Right. Yeah, Patrick Bryan, yeah, he, he's, he's a really great athlete. Uh, he's a great kid, a uh, great person in, in, the, in the building as well. Um, he, he's very smooth. Uh, and again, like I mentioned earlier, he's very uh, natural with the position. He can play on both sides of the ball, offense and defense. On the other side of the field for Creekside, Jack Goodrich has been making highlight real plays all season long. Yeah, you know, Jack's um, done a really good job of, of attributing his skills. Uh, he's really good when the ball's in the air. He's a bigger kid. He's 6'1", 195. Um, so when the ball's in the air, he feels like the ball is his. And, and, and so we give him those opportunities, and it's fun to watch. Um, in a perfect world, we, we'd love to, to shut him out or take him out of the game. But, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the chess match. That's the game within the game of, you know, obviously we're going to scheme on how to stop him or slow him down. And, and Coach Mack and his staff is going to scheme on how to get him open, to get him catches and touches, whether it be him, whether it be Shane. Uh, so that's, you know, it's just, it's, it's just going to be a back and forth uh, this whole night. Now, as I kind of mentioned going into this thing, Patrick Bryant didn't play tonight, and I wasn't the only one that was a little upset that he didn't get on the field. There were some college scouts that were at the game that were a little upset they didn't get to see him on the field, too. Everybody is looking <laughs> at that young man. Remember, he's just a junior, so another year after this to prove what he can do. We've already seen some of that so far. And he is talented. He really is. Jamal, thanks a lot.